Alright guys, so I got my 2016 GMC Sierra that uh, does have the the factory GMC um, headliner in it and it's in great shape and I want to keep it that way. Um, I've always liked a rubber mat in the bed um, even though the factory spray in liner or even a rhino liner is, is some good protection you know you throw a you throw anything you know some some bricks um, an engine block whatever you know you put anything in there and if it starts shifting around it's, it's gonna it'll scratch this stuff all the way to the surface so I ordered me a rubber bed liner this is the DZ um, bed liner rubber Chevy GMC and after doing the reviews um, made in USA it looked like it was uh, for the price looked like it was probably the way to go so we're gonna dump it out of this package maybe we're gonna unroll it and throw it up here in the bed let me uh, Get a knife here. So of course, you know, whenever you get one of these, they're going to be kind of stiff from being in storage. So we're just going to unroll it and let it lay here for just a couple minutes. And we're going to do some measuring. Now, of course, you see it's got the, it's got some nice dimpling. And what that does is that holds it up off of the, the actual bed so that it can get airflow. So when it does get water and stuff underneath it, it will uh, uh, be able to air out quicker and easier. Now, the one thing I've noticed on all these is and I'm gonna get my calipers hold on a second let me get my calipers the one thing I've noticed on all these is they claim 3 eighths of an inch thick and that's 375 thousandths and I've noticed on a lot of the reviews and the uh, um, pictures that I've seen you know yeah that's right here at the edge But if you if you can see, you know, whenever it, it right uh, along the edge, it's always raised up, and then it goes to, you know, a thinner section here. Of course, it goes back, you know, these little humps right here, thicken it back up. But the entire thing is not going to be three eighths of an inch thick. In fact, let's see if we can put the measuring to this. In fact, if you look, I'm even on on a dimple where you at and it's showing about 340 thousandths about 210 thousandths 212 or so right there on the on the edge so this part here where it drops down Is going to be even thinner now that's not necessarily that bad um, but just be aware that whenever they say three-eighths of an inch thick that is the thickest part of the bed liner itself to, to me it would be more um, ethical if the if the main part of the mat which is this part right here was where they were, was the measurement they would actually give you instead of the very thickest which also includes the the little dimples right there but we're going to let that kind of warm up just a little bit and then we're going to throw it in the bed and see how it fits this is the short bed uh gm i rinsed the bed out just to get all the crud out of it but got a little bit of moisture back there Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put it in down. The easiest way, I think, 
hold on which one what's the front of this okay so I think I've got it turned around to where this is the front of the bed and this is by the tailgate and what I'm going to attempt is to fold it up like this and I don't know if I'll be able to I mean it's pretty it's pretty heavy so I'm going to grab this with both hands to get it up here There's a perfect fit. And once it heats up a few times and kind of settles, it'll fit even more. Even right here. I don't know how that's coming through. But I, I mean, I like the way that fits. looks good nice and rubbery spongy so now when you put stuff back here it's not going to slide it's not going to want to have that tendency to shift and slide near as much anyway I just wanted to show you the way that works and yeah so that's going to stand up on the humps right there and help airflow flow through it to dry it out but this is the DZ bed mat I don't know if that's the model number but I'll put a link to it anyway I just wanted to show you that there's the water draining out from when I washed it off And after uh, looking at about three or four different bed mats, the reason I went with the DZ, number one reason was it had the highest ratings out of the Husky. Uh, what was the other one I was looking at? Um, I can't even remember now. Uh, Rough Country. Rough Country, Husky, and this DZ was the main three I was looking at, along with others. But this one had the highest ratings, and it was the actual cheapest. It's made in the USA from virgin rubber, not recycled. The, I think it's the Rough Country uses recycled rubber, and I read a lot of complaints that it just smelled like a tire factory. So, you know, I've got a tunnel cover on whenever the bed's shut. I don't want to open this up and be hit with a bunch of rubber fumes because it's recycled. And to be honest, if I'm buying something that's recycled, I would expect it to be cheaper than a brand new product with virgin materials. So uh, I didn't really care for the whole recycled deal um, and paying more for it and having it smell like that. And I've had experiences with the recycled stuff before um, and I mean as much as I hate to say it, uh, it recycled stuff just isn't as good as a brand new fresh uh, product in my experience so that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and went with the DZ I have no reason to think it's not going to hold up um, of course if I have any problems with it or whatever I'll do another review and, and I'll uh, you know, I'll tell you. But everybody that I uh, saw that talked about this talked about how good it fit. They was happy with the quality um, and the robustness of it.
So I figured, you know, you can't, you can't argue with, a, you know, that many people. Um, there was a couple, I can't remember if it was the Husky or the Rough Country, but a couple people complained about how it fit. They weren't real happy with the way it fit. So, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I thought this one's cheaper. It's made in the USA. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a brand new, uh, not recycled product. Uh, and I don't smell nothing. Whenever I took it out of the bag, I didn't smell nothing. I'm not smelling nothing now. So that was my reason to go ahead and go with the DZ. But, you know, I'm sure any of them will probably be fine. Um, this one is about $20 cheaper than the Rough Country or the uh, Husky. So I went ahead and went this route. If the ratings wouldn't have been there, I would have went ahead and spent the $20 and got one of the other two. But it was down to those three, and I ended up choosing this one. I'm glad it did. I like the design of it. It, it, it looks neat. Um, and I think it's going to be fine. It is a nice pliable. I mean, it's it's non-skid. I mean, my finger's sticking to that like crazy. So I'm sure that whenever I have stuff back there, there's no way it's going to slide around. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there so, you know, you kind of knew where I stood on why I chose this one over over others. Okay, you guys take care.